Chosen Vessels, what's the deal? It's your main man, Drew Tube, and I'm back at you again with another video. I need every vessel to hit that like button, hit that share button, and don't forget to subscribe. Shout out to the Galactic Family, the GCVs, and of course, Drew Nation. Let's get right into it. You go hard. No one could ever understand the amount of work you put in. You're built different. You go hard. Can't nobody play the game the way you play. It's just something about you that's in you that is very rare. A lot of people refuse to tap into the type of energy that you've been able to access. What you have discovered within yourself allows you to go to levels that not everyone can reach. You view things differently than others. Not everybody looks at things the same. Not everyone sees life through the same lens. And you're the type of person that just doesn't leave until the job is done. And that's why you go hard. Because it's certain things that you do, certain heights that you reach, but you're just still not satisfied. Some would take a look at your resume and take a look at the things you've accomplished, take a look at how far you've come when you get things done, when you go to do what it is you do. And they'll be like, you know what? I did enough. Some will look at your to-do list and look at your obligations and the things that you want to achieve and they'll say you know what I did enough but not you you're that person that is in the gym after everyone leaves you're that person that's still at their desk when everybody else is on break you're that person in their dorm room that's still studying after hours when all the lights are shut off and everybody sees that one light on in your room Oh, there goes so-and-so. She's still at it. She ain't call it quits yet. There goes so-and-so. He's still shooting. He ain't give up yet. He's still in there going hard. Still in there working towards his goals. Working towards his, his vision. Only you know how far you're going to go. Only you know how hard you need to go to take it there and a lot of people would be satisfied reaching certain levels that you've come across that you've come upon that you've reached but it's still not enough for you it's not enough for you once you get your hands on something once you're able to accomplish something and you find out what it is that you can do you're the type of person that people would look at and say, this person's OD. This person is going going OD on it. You do too much. But when it comes to what you need to get done, you view it as you can never do enough. That's how you see things. You see things as you can never do enough. You're like... Uh, Luther Vandross, or Dross, excuse me for the mispronunciation, but with you, it's, it's never too much. Never too much. Never too much, never too much. It's never too much with you. Because you love what you do. And that's the difference between you and everybody else. That's why you're able to, to go so hard. That's why people look at you and say, 
you're built different. That's why people look at you and say, I could never understand this person. I don't, I just don't understand. Why are they always in the gym? Why are they always in the library? Why are they always in the health food aisle? Why are they always doing what it is that they do? This person stays in the studio. This person stays in the, uh, in the, in the art gallery. This person stays painting. This person stays reading. This person stays writing. They're always doing something. They're just never just, there's never a, a chill bone in their body. This is a very chill person, but to say that they're chill is an understatement. They're always moving, always going hard. This person doesn't never get enough. They don't never take a break. If life is not going to give you any breaks, and that, since that's how you see it, you can't take any breaks on life. That's just how you see it. You realize that you have to keep going until you reach anywhere close to where you're trying to get. And even then, you're just not satisfied because you realize that there's a lot of life to live. And you know what you want to do with your life. A lot of people, if they knew what they wanted to do with their life, they'd be going as hard as you. But it's just that they don't they don't have any goals set. They don't have any accomplishments in mind for them to, to reach. They don't have any goals to, to set out and reach. They're not as focused as you. So whatever they do accomplish, whatever they do get done, they're poop, as, as they say. Oh, I'm pooped. I'm tired. Those are curse words in my book. Somebody says that to me, you just cursed me out probably watching this video I know you feel the same way and I know understand everybody uh, complains here and there but to me that's a complaint that's a complaint and that's just one complaint I can't stand to hear I won't put up with it I really won't because you're supposed to be going hard you're supposed to be being the best that you can be you were probably one of those people that didn't have any aspiration to be in the army. I'm not sure. Maybe you have. Maybe you haven't. If you have, salute to you. I know there's some people that have served that watch my channel. Thank you for your service. God bless you. I'm glad you're still here with us. But me personally, and I know there are some others out there like me, you just see something positive and you take it and you remix it and you apply it to your own life regardless of if you were to serve or not regardless of you actually do what it applies to or not if it's something positive that you can apply to your life you're the type of person to take it and run with it and when i would hear on that commercial be all you can be i took that and i ran with it i'm like i gotta find something in my life that i could take what i have and be all I could be with it, regardless of the fact that I'm not in service or I'm not serving this country. I still got to be all I could be, because if not, to me, I'm not being anything. I'm not nothing. I got to find something that I could go hard at for me, not to please other people, not to satisfy anybody else, not so somebody could tell me good job, just so I could have satisfaction out of life. And be pleased with the person that I see in myself. That's all it's about. You got to be pleased with yourself. And that's why you go hard. Because you're hard to please. And that's why a lot of people don't like you. And that's why a lot of people end up not liking you. And that's why a lot of people end up calling you high and mighty and who do you think you are and what's up with this guy or all right now what's up with this girl you're hard to please you're no nonsense you don't play around you crack a, a joke here and there you might be funny but you're very serious when it comes to what it is you do and you don't waste any time when it comes to moving on your life 
And even when you have wasted time or even when you did, the, those things were swirling around in the back of your head and you couldn't just wait to get them done. You're probably the type of person that when you don't do things, you can't just sit and chill because it gives you too much anxiety. You're like, oh my God, I haven't got this done. I gotta get this done. Your, your, your own thoughts are just eating at you because there are things that are backed up. And that's why I'm always saying, when you tell yourself you're going to do something and you don't do it, it's like opening up too many windows in a computer. It's like overloading your hard drive. It's like too many unfinished projects. And you can't afford that. You're the type of person that if you don't finish something, it's going to stay on your mind until you do. And that's why you go hard. You're meant to do everything that you tell yourself you're going to do. And that's just the type of person that you are. You're not really too hung up on what everyone else is doing. You put a lot of focus into yourself. People call you selfish probably or probably think that it's, it's something wrong with you because you just aren't really worried about everyone else. You're solely focused on you. And people will think you're weird for that. But a lot of people who end up being successful, who put a lot of time into themselves, people don't understand them. And when you get to a point to where people don't understand you because you're so focused on what it is you need to do, you don't have time for anything else like other people might have because you're dedicated and there's things that you know you need to accomplish and get done and you're going to put as much time into it as possible as you can. You're, you're going to be different and people are just going to look at you in a way to where they're, they're not going to really re be able to relate to you. And that's not always a bad thing. I know people want friends and people want associates and people want people that they could talk to or vibe with. But if you are who I'm describing in this video, most of the time you're just going to be vibing with yourself because you're going to be putting a lot of work you're going to be putting in a lot of work and the type of work that you want to do and the type of level that you do it at, you are going to have to have low to no distraction. You're not going to be able to be around a lot of people because when it's time for you to go hard, you got to go hard. Can't necessarily have other people around you distracting you, trying to pull your focus in this direction. And pull your focus in that direction. You got you got work to do. You, you got things to get done. You, you have a job to do. And you realize that. You know that wholeheartedly. You have a job to do. You have no time to waste. You're built different. You're not the same as everybody else. Stop thinking that you are. You don't have the same life as everybody else. You don't got this. You don't even have the same spirit as everybody else. If your if your spirit is different, your life is definitely going to be different. You're built different mentally, spiritually, and all that will change how you're built physically. Your thoughts can change and alter your DNA. And if you think like I'm, I'm describing uh, the person in this video as then you've probably already done that or you're working on doing that by reprogramming your mind, reprogramming your DNA, changing the way you think, changing the way you look at life. Telling yourself that there's nothing you can't do. Your body has to adjust to that. That's why you're built different. You don't think the same as other people. You don't view life the same as other people. You don't see life like everyone else does. You have certain things that happen to you that just do not happen to other people. And you have to prepare yourself for that. But 
that's a whole nother video. So let's stay on topic. You're built different. Other people are satisfied doing the bare minimum. You want to be great. You're not the same as everybody else. You want to do great things. Some people just want to do a thing. Some people just want to be above average. Some people just want to be satisfied with where they're at. Some people just want to be average, excuse me. But you're above average way, 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 way above average. Some people just want to do something and get done. And that's okay. Some people don't want to be great. And that's okay. Not everybody's going to be great. Not everybody's going to be Mike Tyson and Floyd Mayweather and Michael Jordan and LeBron James and Larry Bird. Not everybody's going to be those guys. Not everybody's going to be Serena Williams. Not everybody is going to be Lisa Leslie. Not everybody's going to be Steve Nash. Hitting them with the threes and whatnot. Not everybody's going to be those guys. Not everybody is going to be somebody that's important to the masses. Someone that's remembered by the masses. Not everybody is going to be able to find that thing within them that they turned on. That was there the whole time. They just further brought it out of themselves. Not everybody wants to do that. Some people know they have something inside them. They just say, huh, whatever. I'm too cool for all that. That's what some people say. Some people are too cool. Some people are too cool for school. All right? And that's, yeah, hey, that's, that, and that is all right. That's all right. But when you get to doing your thing and you get to, to leveling up, and you on your Dragon Ball Z, you, ah, fifth episode, ah, sixth episode ah, you still you still leveling up you got fire around you your hair changing colors your your, your arms and and uh veins are pulsating you changing dna changing spirit changing you know they they see something different in you 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 start coming people run to their car and close the door as soon as you walk up by somebody's vehicle they start to enter you're built different you're doing your thing and they're watching you through a fine microscope, studying you, keeping an eye on you. You know, you probably got the Uncle Ruckus look. And when I say eye, I mean an eye trying to watch you. The other eye won't even open all the way. You're built different. You are built different. You are not the same as them. You have, if they look at your DNA in a microscope and look at theirs, it will not be the same. Your DNA and their DNA is not the same. Y'all are not the same people. You are built different. You go hard. They, they do a good enough amount. We're not taking anything away from them. They probably do very well. They, they, they do very well. You know, they do just enough, and once they reach their little little teeny level, you know, they hang it on up. Oh, whew, wow, I'm done. They really think they did something, too, don't they? They, they really think they did something. Wait till you get there. You, you're, the type, you're the type to make them go back and, and sit down and watch you and rethink everything they just did. You're the type to make them feel and think what they did don't even amount to nothing. They just really did a great job, too. They really just did a great job, but when once they sense, once they sense you, once they 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 get a hold of you, once they recognize who really about that life, they wow man, dang, shh. They start thinking that they did, they did, they start thinking that they didn't even do enough. They start thinking that everything they did just isn't even going to amount to anything. They start feeling like they wasted their time. It was. They feel like it was no reason for them to be there. They start to realize that they're not really on their purpose. They're just doing things because other people are doing things. They don't have the amount of focus or the the amount of chi. They don't have. They they don't have chi like you. You got chi. You got that chi. 
You built different. You start touching stuff and get hot. You are built different. You walk outside, the animals and everything be coming around you. Trying to get close to you and whatnot. You're built different. Probably even change the weather. We ain't gonna go there. That's a whole nother video. You 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 probably affect the weather. You you uh you you go all the way up to the atmosphere on them. And you think you think you the same as everybody else. You could change the atmosphere. Your vibes go all the way up. <laughs> Your vibes are all the way up. And when I, when I say you are vibing, you are vibing. Energy go all the way out to outer space. They are so confused as to how you're able to do what you do. But it's none of their business. They could either watch and learn or they could keep it moving. You know? You got the student and you got the master. If you're too arrogant to be a student, you'll never become a master. Some people are just too arrogant and not in a good way. It's nothing wrong with arrogance. It's nothing wrong with confidence. If you don't get out of hand with it and start thinking you better than other people, you good. But there are others, like there's people that are so good at what they do and they still don't think they, they're better than other people, even though they'll smash the air out of them. They'll, they'll, they'll knock the wind right out their sail and they still don't see themselves as better than anybody else. It's called not underestimating anybody. They don't underestimate others, but you were underestimated. They underestimated you, called you all these names, said all these things about you. And then, oh, wow, look, you were the one the whole entire time. You were the one. They could never understand. They could never understand the amount of work that you put in. They don't know. They could never understand. They're just, you know, they just don't get it. They don't get it. You have something that you want to do. You have something that you want to be. You're not going to stop until you get it. Some people, you know, they go out to eat. They put a little, they put a little this on their plate, little put a little that on their plate. You know, they eat eat their little this, eat their little that. Oh man, wow. Cool. And then some people they are hungry. They'll eat that whole thing up. They are, they are eat you'll go there to you'll go get you something to eat. It won't be nothing left. That's you. There's a difference between you and them. They just, you know, they're the type that they yo, they get full. Ah. Woo. Wow. I really I really cleaned my plate. I really did something there. I really did something there. I really did that. I I did that. They really think they did something. But they're not as hungry as you. You'll clean the whole plate. You'll, you'll make them have to go. You the type make them have to go back in the kitchen and bring out some more. Can I have some more? Can I have some more? That's you. They can't compete with that. They can't compare to that. And they don't understand. Even other successful people don't even understand. Like, it's, it's people that are in the same league. People who made it. Look at people like Kobe Bryant and LeBron. They'd be like, yo, I don't even understand. The person, it depends on what you want. It depends on where you take your mind to. 
It depends on what you do with your mind. That's all it depends on is what you do with your mind. That's it. It's whatever you want to do with your mind, how wherever you want to take it, whatever level you want to bring it to. That's all. Whoever who determines that, you determine that. Nobody else, nothing else. How hungry are you? How dedicated are you? How bad do you want it? Once people figure that out and realize that, once you realize the only thing that's stopping you is you, there's nothing else that could get in the way, you're not going to let anything stop you. You're not going to stop for nothing. You're going to do what you have to do regardless. People aren't going to understand you because it's something that you want to do. There's something that you, a level that you want to reach. They're going to try to figure you out. They're going to try to make it make sense. But if it's not them and it's not what they're doing, and if it's not what they're meant to be, and if they're too focused and worried about you and how hard you're going, they're just wasting their time trying to see what's so special about you and what makes you so great they're never going to see it or figure it out about themselves i'd like to thank you for watching this video smash that like button smash that share button and don't forget to subscribe i'll see you in the next video it's been another drew tube special shout out to the chosen vessels peace love and light we're out.